Hopefully you get what I'm saying because I do get some people who are like, actually it's meant to be used in that way. Well, actually it can be used however you want it to be used. We're back with another educational beauty video and this time I'm going to be showing you how to bronze, blush and highlight the correct way. Exactly where you should be placing it, how you should be blending it, everything. We're going to be doing the wrong side and the right side so you can see exactly what the difference is and trust me the difference is huge. Now if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos and head over to Instagram if you want to see some reels, some unboxing and now let's jump straight into the video. I have a full glam on as you can see but I don't have my bronzer, blush and highlighter on. Now I really want you guys to be the best at what you do so we're going to be going through exactly how you shouldn't be applying it and how you should be applying it. So therefore on this side we're going to be applying the bronzer, blush and highlight in the wrong way so the way that isn't really flattering at all and on this side we're going to be applying the bronzer, blush and highlight the right way so the way that is very flattering for you and can kind of like lift the face at the same time. So so let's get straight into it. We're going to start with bronzer. Now, this is a bit of a touchy subject when it comes to bronzer. Touchy or, you know, everyone has a different opinion of it. So I feel like let's just clear something up because a lot of people will say oh, you're not meant to apply bronzer that way you're sculpting with it you're meant to actually use it to kind of like give you that sun kiss look where the where the sun hits your face and that's where it's supposed to be used let's just straighten something out who said that like who 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 which and whoever did say that I'm sorry, but do, do I even need to say this? Like, they didn't create the rules for makeup. There is no rule book that says that you have to use bronzer this way. And if you don't use it this way, then you're doing it wrong. You can still apply the bronzer, blush and highlight in the wrong way that I'm going to show you if you want to. It doesn't, it's not illegal. You can apply it however you want, but I'm showing you the ways that are more flattering for you. So it, it lifts your face more. If you feel that the wrong way suits you better, you go girl, you go for it, use it that way. But you know, I'm here to show you the ways that are more flattering for your skin. And I just want to be clear that, you know, bronzer can be used to sculpt. I've been sculpting with it for years and nothing's happened to me. Like I'm still here, everything's fine. My makeup still sits perfectly, if not better. So anyway, let's move on. Hopefully you get what I'm saying because I do get some people who are like, actually it's meant to be used in that way. Well, actually. <laughs> It can be used however you want it to be used. Anyway, I'm using my veil brush and I'm going into my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer in Beach. Let's do the wrong way first. I see some people apply it in this way and on some people it kind of like looks fine, you know, because maybe they've toned it down a little bit, they've not applied too much of it and they've just applied the right amount that they need and it probably looks okay. What I'm doing on the wrong side is an extreme version, okay? So let's just be clear about that. That is me showing you so that you can really visually see. Like it doesn't mean every, there are people that walk around like that with this much on, but I'm showing you because I really want you to be able to see it for a start. And I also want you guys to know that even if you do this and maybe you do just a little bit, not as much of it, you know, try this side because I think it's going to be really flattering for you and I think you're going to really love it. So anyway, let's go in with our veil brush. And I am going to apply this just in the way that I know, very old school way of applying bronzer, which you've always been told that, oh, you put it on the forehead where the sun hits it and, you know, it's supposed to give you a sun-kissed look and that's it. You can use it however you want to use it. It's just, that it just, it's just called bronzer, okay? So let's use it how we want to use it. And I'm just going to apply this. I see a lot of people just kind of like applying it all over because they don't know any strategic way of applying it. I also see a lot of people like doing this, you know, swirly movements. If anything, I feel like that's disturbing the makeup underneath. Like I already feel a little bit sunburned. I feel like I look a little bit sunburned. I just think that's made me look like I've got darker skin, you know? And that's it, which is fine. Maybe if that's what you're going for, fine. But, you know, a lot of people want to look bronzed and that's fine. And that's the reason they use it. But honestly, I feel like that's not done much for me. I might as well have just used a darker foundation. Now, let's move over and do this 
on the other side in the way that I feel is going to be a lot more flattering for you and can actually help to lift the face in combination with the bron with the blush and the highlight. So I'm going to go from the top of my ear and I'm just going to like apply a little bit kind of like I'm just kind of like pressing flicking, pressing flicking. You can either go side to side if you want but I like to press and flick because I feel like sometimes that can give me a you know better understanding of how much I've applied. So now can we see we've got some definition there? I feel like we've now created a kind of like cheekbone area there, a little bit of a kind of nice sculpt there. Now I do like to also give myself a little bit of a bronze sun kiss look but you can do that without applying it everywhere. So I'm applying it into the hairline. So I'm really taking it into the hairline because if I start here and then I go in, I'm just coloring in the whole of my face, right? So all I'm doing is just kind of like touching the hairline and it goes right into the hairline. And that's like giving me a warm perimeter of the face, but keeping the center nice and bright. So that's what we're doing here. And then sometimes I like to just go under the cheek, the, the jawline and just go back and forth and that just sculpts that area for me. Okay, now look at that. It's kind of like there. And then you look at this and it's just, you've got that lift there, but it's also given me that sun-kissed look on the perimeter of my face. Now let's go in with the blush. Now I'm using a dual fiber brush. This is actually a MAC brush. I don't think they do it anymore, but any dual fiber brush will, will do or whatever brush that you think you know works well with you and i'm using my dual rosy glow blush in the pink shade and we're going to go on to the wrong side first and a lot of people smile and they just go right in on the apples of the cheeks and you know that's about it again could work for you depending on your face shape and the look that you're going for but honestly, I don't feel like it does. It's just very kind of like there. Everything's on this side. What is that doing? What What is that doing? It's really not doing much at all. It's just there. You know, and I see so many people smile and then they're like, mm -hmm. okay, that's great if it does. Look, at the end of the day, if it looks good on you, it looks good on you, right? But then there's excessive and then there's also limitations, which means that basically you're really just stuck in that one way of doing makeup and you haven't really like opened up your eyes to so many other techniques of applying it, so many other placement options, if you see what I mean. So like what I'm saying on this side is not necessarily the only way, but I'm just saying it's it's one way that you can apply your bronzer, blush and highlight, which could be completely game changing for you and it may lift your whole face. So, you know, nothing, not doing anything for me. Now let's go over to this side. Now this is where you're gonna be a bit, you know, a bit more kind of careful with how much you're applying. And we're also gonna apply just on top of the upper part of the cheekbone, because that helps to kind of lift that area and also give us that nice kind of flush of color. And don't get me wrong, you can still apply it here, but this much and in this bigger circle is, is just a bit too much. Like you can still go over on that area so that when you smile, you see that flush of color. But when you smile, we've got a flush of color here. And then we've just got like a plum. It's just, you know, and I like to just like press this in. That's nice, see? I feel like that's giving me a really nice lift. I've got some nice color there, it looks nice. Next up, we have the highlighter and I'm gonna be using my Tom Ford Illuminating Powder Duo and I'm using the kind of like slightly kind of rose gold shade of it. And I'm using my 134 brush from Zoeva. I still see people doing it this way, like we'll see the results in this way and it doesn't look good. So we're doing the wrong side and we're just gonna go straight in. Firstly, you just go straight in with a strip there. It just looks like a strip. Secondly, it's enhancing every pit, every open pore, every acne scar that there is there. It's just like, hey, look at me. I'm here, slowly hidden away with all that makeup. And it's like, I tried so hard and now I've just like brought you back up. So yeah, there's that. Applying it in a strip and also just applying it too close in to the center of the face. It doesn't do anything. And yeah. 
not a good look. Okay, now we're gonna go straight into that shade again. And this is where we are gonna go just onto the on top of the cheekbone. So where the blush is, but a little bit below. And we're not going all the way in. It's actually such a small area that we're gonna apply it to. It's just enough to get a really subtle kind of a hint of highlight there. And you can go over onto other places too, like above the brow a little bit and just on this area here. I always feel like that gives me more of a natural kind of look. It just makes my foundation look a bit more natural, especially if I've gone for like a kind of like matte foundation look and I want to just like make it a little bit more kind of glowy or dewy looking. I mean, even when you look straight ahead, you shouldn't really be able to see a whole load of highlight on your face. Like here you can see, you can see that, right? It's there. Here, you can't really see it. It's only when the light kind of like hits it in certain angles that you can see it. And that's the whole point. It shouldn't, you shouldn't be putting makeup on so that in any light, you can see every single product that you've applied. Like it should just blend in to look pretty natural and kind of like lived in so that there are certain products that you've applied such as highlighter are more effective in certain lights, if you see what I mean. What happens is when you apply highlighter like this or in a strip form, then even in darker light, when the light isn't there to hit off of it, it's still visible. It looks white. It just looks like a white strip. And trust me, I know, because I've seen it. I've seen it and there's been a time where, you know, I applied highlighter a little bit too, kind of not as much as this, but you know, I applied more of it than I do now. And in darker lights, you can see it. And it's like, it's not even like a glow. It's just like a white strip. It looks really awful. So I just really wanted to kind of like share that with you because honestly, like I said, I want you guys to be the best at what you do. I want you guys to be amazing. I want you to come here, watch these videos and go away, do your makeup and be like, wow, that really worked for me. You know, that really helped me. So I really do hope that it helps you. It makes me feel happy. I really would love to know if there are other things that you want me to kind of like do. And if there are, then obviously let me know in the comments box below because I always read your messages. I just want to be able to kind of like solve those problems for you. So. If there is anything else, then please do let me know. For the rest of your day, I hope that everything goes to plan. It's productive, it's blessed, you're happy, and no one gives you any problems, and I love you guys. I really do hope you've loved this video, and I hope it's really helped you too. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. If you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.